this problem we need to evaluate the number of non-zero roots of this seemingly quadratic equation. The only difference is that the final constant term is not just a constant term but it is rather a function called the sinum function. So what does the sinum function say? So that is the first part of the problem that of identifying sinum of x. So this we know it is equal to it takes a value 1 if x is greater than 0, it takes a value minus 1 if x is less than 0 and it takes a value 0 if x is equal to 0. So it is a good problem because it actually tests whether you know the concept of the sinum function or not. So once you have this basically we are act looking at two, at two quadratic equations in this case because it is already given that x is non zero. So you can uh, forget about the last case. So when x is positive. So if x is positive, then what we are looking at is a quadratic equation x square minus 5x minus 6 equal to 0, okay. And when x is negative, then we are looking at the quadratic x square minus 5x plus 6 equals 0. So that is the important thing in any such problem with, wherein the coefficient term is given as a, another function itself. First thing to be done is to write down the quadratic by getting rid of that particular function. That is you simplify the quadratic and try if possible to write it as a proper quadratic wherein the coefficients are constant terms. So now once we have achieved it, let us see how, how many roots are satisfying the given conditions. So in this case, what are the roots of this quadratic? The roots are, so we get x is equal to, so it is. 6 or minus 1, right? So we have x is equal to 6 or minus 1, alright? And in this case, we have x is equal to 3 or 2, alright? Now, here is where you have to make the decision properly. So, for the first thing that is we assume that x is positive and then we obtain this quadratic and we obtain the roots as 6 and minus 1. Now, among these two roots, which of them are positive? Only one is positive, okay? So, this minus 1 is not a root of the given quadratic equation. And further, when we assume that x is negative, we actually obtain two positive roots and therefore, both of these should be discarded. So, in short, the right answer for the problem is just equal to 1 because we have further discarded the 0 case, okay. So this was a good problem wherein you had to make certain simple but subtle decisions and find out the roots and conclude what is the right answer.